All right, everyone, we are here at a Speedway gas station and they have some kind of Mark 7 Touchless, which today we're gonna check out. This is a very similar setup to that one uh, one that kept failing on us like th three times in a row. Um, but you can see they have a, a credit cards now accepted at car wash or whatever. They, car wash pay station. They must have replaced it uh, quite recently because it is a C start now. So now I am going to get out and walk through it. So I'll see you guys in just a second. I'd assume that this was where the uh, wash options used to be. It's a nice warm day out today. I like it. Um, here's the pay station. So now we have a reverse osmosis tank, reverse osmosis unit. Uh, this used to be something else, so I, I can tell. I wonder what it used to be actually, but Yep, you see all that? Uh, come farther up. Some kind of, oh, this is the, uh, oh, that scared the crap out of me. But some kind of air thing for the, I don't know. But yep, this is an AquaJet GT700. Man, that keeps scaring me, but there's your treadle. Your water softener. Not really much to it. You can see the little oscillation stuff up there. <laughs> Apparently, has onboard dryers, tri foam, and wheel scrubbers. So now let's go through it. I think those are blend co chemicals. I can't tell though. No undercarriage wash. I guess it doesn't work. Okay. was an interesting treadle, I'll say that. That one has no uh, screen. That can't be safe. bath by the way oh it was an air compressor my bad I can't tell what that was but there's the logo I'll look at it in post that's part of the reason why I wanted to get out of there because it's so fast a squeaky pump. That can't, that, that was not high pressure. I could tell that was 
very low pressure. Like, look at that. It makes very fast passes, too. Still decent coverage of trifoam. Okay, who knows what this is now? Wheel scrubber maybe? Guess not. That sounded awesome. I can't believe that. Just wow. Okay, now, what? Did you see, after assemble drying, there was a spray of water I had to drive through. It's right there on the I side. know, I saw it. That's really effective drying. Uh-huh. Well, still, I'll uh, get in the car in a second and then we'll rate it. Okay, how would you rate that one? <laughs> I know there were good things that I'm sure you loved about it, but to me, that was one of the worst car washes. They had these things that kept going that I know were supposed to spray water that never once sprayed anything. Oh, you mean the wheel scrubbers? No, there were the, there were these, like. Sticks oh, the the ones that uh, twisted. On the top, yeah. Yeah. And they never did anything, and then they came down to the front and never did anything, and then they went back out to the <laughs> didn't do anything. No, they no they did stuff. It, it, they did spray water. Oh, that's good. Well, at the beginning they didn't, so I'm like, oh, this is dumb. No, no, they they did at the beginning. It was it, it worked fine, but the wheel scrubbers, wow. and the and the uh, high pressure pump was so squeaky. From what I can see from the inside, those never sprayed. But that's okay. You know what? Yeah. I'm not here to really judge it. I guess it's you who wants to. So go ahead. Tell me what you think. Eight out of ten. Okay. I would give it a two, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought that that one was pretty good. I mean, the dryers did a good job, other than that squirt that it just totally undid all its work. I know, but still, <laughs> it did. The dryers itself did a good job. Okay. You know so what? Okay. And it is cleaner. The car is cleaner. Yes. So yeah, that is the Mark Seven GT Seven Hundred. Um. Come check it out if you're in the area. Definitely come check it out. Nice, nice, cool, old piece of equipment. It would be nice to uh, check out if you're in the area. So yeah, that is the Speedway Gas Station Car Wash. Thank you guys for watching and happy washing.